The idea of holding a child back in school for the purpose of giving them an extra year to develop in a particular sport is not a new one. In fact, it has been a topic of much debate among parents, educators, and sports professionals for many years. On one hand, some argue that giving a child an extra year to mature physically and mentally can be beneficial for their athletic development, leading to improved performance and potentially even a professional career in their chosen sport. On the other hand, others believe that it can have negative effects on their social and academic development and may not necessarily lead to improved athletic performance. While there are certainly some benefits to this practice, there are also some drawbacks that should be considered. One of the main arguments is that it allows them to physically mature at a slower pace than their peers. This can be particularly beneficial for sports that require a high degree of physicality, such as football or basketball. It can give them an extra year to develop physically, which can be particularly beneficial in sports where size and strength can be important factors in a player's success. By giving a child an extra year to grow and mature, they may be better equipped to compete against older and more physically developed opponents. Another benefit is that it can give them more time to focus on their training and development. For young athletes, the demands of schoolwork and extracurricular activities can often be overwhelming, making it difficult for them to devote the necessary time and energy. By holding a child back in school, parents can provide them with an extra year to focus on their training, which can potentially improve their performance. Despite these potential benefits, there are also some drawbacks, the main of which is that it can disrupt the child's social development. Children who are held back may find themselves in classes with older and more mature peers, which can be challenging for them to navigate. This can lead to feelings of isolation and exclusion, which can have negative effects on the child's mental health and well-being. Another drawback is the child may need to participate in expensive sports training programs and camps in order to continue their development. These costs can quickly become prohibitive for some families, making it difficult for them to justify the decision. Additionally, it is important to remember that it is not a guarantee of success. Even with an extra year to develop physically and focus on their training, there are no guarantees that a child will become a successful athlete. There are many other factors that can contribute to a child's success in sports, such as talent, determination, and hard work. Furthermore, it may not be in the best interest of the child's overall development. While it may give them an advantage in their chosen sport, it could potentially hinder their development in other areas. For example, a child who is held back may fall behind their peers in terms of academic achievement which can have negative effects on their future educational and career opportunities. It is also worth considering the potential long-term effects. Any advantage may be short-lived, as they will eventually catch up to and potentially be surpassed by their peers who were not held back. This could lead to feelings of resentment and disappointment, and could potentially even damage the child's self-esteem and confidence. It is also important for parents to remember that there are alternative ways to support a child's development in sports without holding them back in school. For example, many schools and community organizations offer sports programs and teams for children of all ages, which can provide young athletes with the opportunity to train and compete. Parents can also provide support for their child's sports development in other ways, such as by providing access to training facilities and equipment hiring private coaches, and encouraging a healthy and active lifestyle. By taking these steps, parents can help their child to develop their skills and reach their potential, without the need to hold them back. The decision also should not be made in isolation. Parents should consult with their child's educators and other experts. Educators can provide valuable insight into the potential academic and social effects and can help parents to make an informed decision. They should seek the advice of sports trainers and coaches who are experienced in working with young athletes. These professionals can provide valuable guidance on the physical and psychological aspects of sports development, and can help parents to understand what is realistic to expect from their child in terms of their athletic potential. It is also worth considering the impact on their peers. 
While the extra year of physical development may give the held back child an advantage in their sport, it may also create an unfair advantage over their peers who were not held back. This could lead to feelings of resentment and jealousy among their classmates, and could potentially damage their relationships and social connections. Furthermore, it may create an unfair competitive environment in youth sports leagues and competitions. If a large number of children are held back, it could create a situation where older and more physically developed children are competing against younger and less mature opponents. This could lead to an uneven playing field and could potentially even pose safety risks for younger children who are not prepared to compete against older and more physically developed opponents. In order to avoid these potential issues, it is important for parents and educators to carefully consider the impact on the broader youth sports community. They should strive to create a fair and inclusive environment that promotes the development and success of all young athletes, regardless of their age and physical development. This can be achieved through a combination of appropriate rules and regulations, as well as education and outreach efforts to promote fair play and respect among young athletes and their parents. In conclusion, while holding a child back in school for sports may provide some potential benefits, it is important to consider the potential drawbacks and long-term effects. What do you think about kids repeating grades for sports? Good or bad? Have you been a parent that has considered or done this? Have you taken this option as an athlete and how did it affect you? How do you feel about your kid playing against holdbacks? Give us your feedback below.